Hey guys, I'm Coach John with How to Become a Pro Wrestler, where we teach you the skills you need to go from your living room to the main event. Rock up into this. Hands down. And to your left, bringing that left arm around. Have smaller ticket items like this. What's up guys, Coach John here with How to Become a Pro Wrestler. Today, I wanna to talk to you about one of our absolutely favorite variations of the squat, the hack squat, right? You know the hack squat, created by George Hackenschmidt, golden age professional wrestler who has been credited as the inventor of the bench press. I don't know if that's confirmed or not, but it's in his Wikipedia, so hey, why not? But he's definitely the inventor of the hack squat. The first pro wrestling world heavyweight champion, George Hackenschmidt, created a squat. We use it at How to Become a Pro Wrestler. We call it the pro wrestling squat. And today, I'm gonna show it to you. So it starts as simple as this. And I'm gonna give you an angle here to where you can kind of, I'm gonna give you a couple angles, I mean, where I'm just going to squat down using my arms as leverage onto my toes. And the goal here, and I'm gonna turn sideways a little bit as well to give you a better angle too here. The goal here, I'm letting my heels come up and I'm letting my calves touch my hamstrings. So there's no space here. Complete knee flexion all the way down at the bottom and all the way back up. My head and chest stay nice and tall the whole time. If you have something awesome, like a slant board, a wedge of some kind in your gym, I highly recommend using it because that takes the balance away from it, right? Because you can simply place your feet on your slant board and squat just like so. This is one of the best ways to perform your hack squat with body weight here. But if you don't have that in your gym, you can also use things like a weight plate, something a little thicker, something at least around the two inch mark, even thicker if you have it. And you can squat here as well and still get that deep, deep knee bend, head and chest still tall, using my arms for leverage here out in the front. Now, once you master doing that with your body weight, is when you can start adding weight to this move. Now, one of our favorite ways to do this at How to Become a Pro Wrestler is to load both hands with dumbbells, all right? Getting on your slant board or your plate, squatting down, keeping your arms completely straight at the bottom, just hanging on, head and chest tall, like so. Now, I highly recommend having something under your feet when you start adding weight, especially if the weight gets extra heavy. You can actually find photographs of George Hackenschmidt. I'm gonna turn this sideways. You can find photographs of George Hackenschmidt doing hack squats with a single dumbbell behind his body like so, okay? So there's multiple different implements that you can use. As a matter of fact, now this is very advanced guys, keep that in mind. You can actually do it with an entire seven foot barbell. You can squat down, nice and controlled, and back up with that deep knee bend into your hack squat, your pro wrestler squat. I highly recommend adding those into your training routine. And if you follow How to Become a Pro Wrestler, you know that we absolutely love those squats. So try those out, let us know how it goes, and I'll see you next time. Guys, head on over to www.howtobecomeaprowrestler.com Dot com. Follow us on all social medias at How to Become a Pro Wrestler. Like, comment, subscribe, and the link's in the description.